Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I need to put together a basket to go to a funeral service. So I thought I would do that with you. So this is just a um, wicker type basket. I have taken the Oasis. I have tucked it in. I filled my reservoir. It's got a plastic liner. So I filled my reservoir with fresh water with a little bit of flower food and I taped it in. So it's not gonna go anywhere. I've got some jade. And this is what I'm gonna um, green the arrangement out with. Let's see. Move my trash can over here. All right, so the reason I'm on this side of the table is because it's just gonna be a one-sided arrangement. And I wanted you to be able to see the front. So I'm just gonna take my greenery and I'm gonna fan it out just like um, it's basically just a fanned arrangement. making it basically like a church arrangement, just a one-sided church type arrangement. Now a basket is often used to sit on the floor at a funeral or you could sit it on a table at a funeral. The nice thing about a wicker basket, it can go home and be enjoyed at home after the service. Now I'm turning the arrangement around and I'm making sure that the greenery is pretty on the back side. I just don't want you to see all the oasis. So I'm covering my mechanics. And it's always important that you do that. You always want to cover those mechanics so that that people can't see the not so pretty. Okay, so there it's greened in on the back. I'm gonna turn it around. And there is my, um, my fanned design. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of, this is lemon leaf or salal. And I'm just gonna add a little bit for, for a different texture. So I'm going to use my snips, just cut those stems, and I'm just going to tuck a little bit of salal or lemon leaf right into this, this greenery, and it just gives us a little bit of a different texture. Now it is not necessary to use lots of different greenery, you can, I enjoy using lots of greenery, but but it's not, if you have one type of greenery that it's okay. All right, so I have it greened out. Next, I'm gonna come in with my lime flower, and I've got several different types of lime flower today. So this um, arrangement is for a man. I'm gonna start out with some Bells of Ireland and some delphinium and some stock. So here are my bales, just pretty green bales of Ireland. I'm pinching the tip out of that bale just because I prefer to tip, I don't love the um, greenery stuck in the top. So see that greenery? I just take it and pinch it right out. Now that's just my preference. If you would like to leave it in, absolutely leave it in, it's okay. Next, I'm gonna come in with some blue delphinium. And I just love vibrant blue delphinium. It's just so pretty and so bright. And so I am just tucking this delphinium. So I did my bells on one side, I'm gonna do my delphinium on the other. I'm going to make it look a little bit like um, like a garden, where it's growing in a, um, in a garden. Now, you can mix this arrangement however you want to. If you want all the colors just mixed up, absolutely, it's okay. 
Um, but with this one, I just kind of wanted to do um, a garden look where it looked right, as if it, it was growing in like a, a flower box with different plants. bit of solidago. You know that's my favorite. I'm going to cut a little here. And, um, now with the solidago, I'm going to put a little here and a little there. Daisies. So these are just daisy mums. They're just um, just standard daisies, but they come in a purple. See that little yellow center or green center? Really pretty, long lasting. I like blues and purples together, and so that's why I chose to do the um, purple stock and the blue delphinium. Now, the nice thing about the, this bundle of daisies is my stems are long. So I get to use them in individual flowers instead of just one individual, you know, stem. So I'm gonna take these and I am just going to tuck them low in this container to kind of fill in right here. So I'm just taking them and cutting them, the individual stems. And sometimes it's nice to just go snip, snip, snip. All right. So I'm going to take those and just tuck several of those down deep here in the front. I just broke this one, so I'm going to pull it out, snip it off, and tuck it deep again, just like that. Okay? Now I'm going to put another little stem, and I'm going to leave the whole stem, and I'm going to fill in back here by these bells of Ireland because I feel like they're a little sparse. over here. So just wherever you think is pretty. Um, when designing flowers, I want you to feel free to to do it. Do whatever makes you feel good. Make it pretty and it's your pretty. You don't have to worry about other people. Um, I know it's important to follow design rules, but honestly, this is about you and what you think is pretty. Okay, next I'm going to come in with some white, a couple of white hydrangeas. I have some empty space right back here in this in this blue. So I'm gonna take these hydrangeas. I'm gonna pull off all of the greenery. And I'm gonna tuck them right deep down into this area. Just because I thought I feel like that's a, a void right there. I've got one more. I'm pulling that foliage off. I'm going to tuck it right back in here. Just to kind of fill in that empty space. So you can kind of see how it looks kind of like a garden where I've got the, the different flowers growing in different places. Lastly, I'm going to take some pretty orange crush roses. I'm just pulling back their, um, the petals that are bumped or bruised. And I am going to wire them. Just pull those off. And just wire that head. Now because these are going in this oasis, I want to make sure that those heads stay, stay upright and pretty. Now these have lots of thorns, so you have to be careful. Some varieties just have lots of thorns. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to 
going to, I'm going to remove some of those thorns just because they bite. And I'm going to tuck these roses over here in this, in this spot that has the blue delphinium and the hydrangeas. I love those orange. I think they give it a really pretty pop. And there you have it. There is our sympathy basket. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you liked this video, please follow our YouTube channel. And you can always, if you like this kind of content, you can always follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We also have a TikTok channel. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.